together in our prayer today, we're asking to remember James surely in a special way. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, long ago. Ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus returned Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion, and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand on trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with him. He said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. 
He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had to say to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will lead you. And someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying about what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your, your, your patience with some of the, the background noise today. Brandon got a pet lion and he keeps it next door. It's growling, it's prowling about. We're uh, getting some, some bathroom work done, so you'll be excited when you get back here and get to see some of the work. So uh, thanks for your patience with that. <clears throat> what a great gospel. We've been moving slowly through so much of, of John's gospel, praying, praying, hearing Jesus praying for the unity. For the, for, the, for the love, for the strength, for the courage of, of these apostles. And the trial, and the denial, and the fear sets in. And we pick up today with this great reconciliation scene. God is so good to us. He'll pray ahead of time. And then if we fall short, he's ready. He's already there to, to kind of pick up what was shattered. You know, so just... Keep that beauty in mind. It's hard to read. Imagine Peter in this situation, right? Do you love me? Three times it says he was distressed. Maybe we felt that. Oh, I'm distressed. Maybe my own shortcoming. No. That another person is hurt by my actions. We know that feeling, right? Gosh. I can't believe I let that person down. That shows a depth of love. That Peter was distressed. It's actually something worth celebrating when you feel distressed it, with such a, a great awareness that I have truly hurt someone else. Look, I can see the pain in, in their eyes and the disappointment I'm feeling. And Jesus is ready to cover over that, right? You know that I love you. Feed my sheep. And he explains to him how he's going to lead as the first pope. So, with gratitude that Jesus loves us in a real enough way to stay with us, to pray for us ahead of time, to, to be the bookend ready to pick us up when we, when we fall. But also pray in gratitude that you have felt distress. That you've actually loved something more than yourself ever in this life. Kind of celebrate that feeling of distress, but also enjoy it when the Lord takes it away from you and continues to say, well, we're not done with just this little healing. We've got more. Here's the plan. Here's how it's going to unfold. The Lord's plan for you is not done unfolding. Allow him to continue to strengthen your life. We stand together and make our needs known to our God. We continue to pray for Pope Francis, that he, like Peter, would, would be, while being led by others, always know the healing mercy of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for, for elected officials in a very concrete, real way here in our area, uh, that, that, that prudence uh, and wisdom and courage would, would win the day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are still affected by the shutdown in, in, in many ways, but maybe in a particular way economically, for those hoping to, to be back to business, uh, would, would really be cared for. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our, our seminaries in, in, in these days. We pray for, in a special way, Brandon and his classmates preparing for diaconate from Malachi, preparing for priesthood ordination. That the Lord would continue to keep a fire in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick who have asked for our prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For James Shirley and for all of our beloved deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we take a moment to bring those silent petitions to our God.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good Lord and Father, thank you for the many ways you continue to, to pray for us and forgive us and strengthen us. Help us always to be led by your Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The noble spirit and kind heart move us at the day when our sacrifice and your service will be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me away from my sins, cleanse me from my sin. I invite you to stand together and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So that from the rising of the sun to the setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, o Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your life especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Elizabeth Van Seen, St. Mary and Pope, St. Paul VI, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, 
for your servant Francis, our Pope Douglas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed Lord be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, Amen. thy will be done, Amen. honor as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now ready that yeah. you should enter under my room. For I will savor, and my soul shall be healed. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will teach you all truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God. 
by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant we pray that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The uh, opportunity to sign up for Mass in the parking lot is now live. It's online. Maybe you've got the, the mail chance to notice last night or, or through our Engage program, uh, through the uh, flock notes, or just pop down the website. Anyhow, you might have come across it. Please head to the website to register again. Uh, we cannot take phone uh, reservations without staff working this week. So the only way to, to get in the lot this weekend is to uh, is to go online and pick the mass you want, 5, 9, or 11. Remember, 7.30 will be live streamed from here. It's, it's, it's uh, a product you can count on. So if you want to live stream at 7.30 or watching it later in the morning, it just stays on both uh, Facebook and YouTube for, for later viewing. So hang with us this weekend as we as we work out this idea of gathering in the parking lot together for Mass. And, and those who are going to be able to receive communion, I'm sure, are, are quite excited to, to do that. So we'll, we'll see those of you in person who we see in person. We'll see you through the camera who we see you through the camera. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. O Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation and mother of the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your Son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own St. Mary and Cope, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. One other thing might come up is the idea of daily Mass inside next week. I know Bishop was just uh, trying to make that happen and encouraging. We're just not in a space to start yet um, to, to try to live stream and film uh, and celebrate in the main church with a noise going with a... Hang in there. It's not going to happen next week. All right, keep praying for us. Thank you.